Good morning, everybody. Bundle up. Yeah, heavy coats. It's a cold morning. Temperatures uh, in the 40s, uh, down 42 at the island, uh, rather at the Naval Air Station, but everybody inland is down into the upper 30s. The good news is the wind isn't as bad, but the wind this morning makes it feel rather cold. So hats and gloves for some of you that are going to be outdoors. Certainly bundle up the kids this morning. It's going to be a chilly morning. The winds now are down to about 10, 15 miles an hour. Yesterday they peaked at 30. Uh, of course, the north wind makes it feel a lot colder because that wind is taking away the body heat from you. Therefore, it affects you uh, even more. Uh, notice that down in Brownsville, they're down in 45 as well, but it's freezing in San Antonio and everybody north of San Antonio is in the freeze area. We're looking at 21 in San Angelo, 30 in the Dallas area, even 36 this morning in Houston. So it is a cold. What a change, huh? Saturday, foggy, then little sun and then bam. The north wind blows in. Well, today the cold air is with us. There is, however, a good possibility we're going to thin out the cloud deck. You can see it thinning out right about here. And that means we may actually see a little bit of sun today, but it'll still only be in the 50s as a high temperature. So you're going to need the coats. Now, the clearing skies aren't going to last for very long because the old trop, the, the old moisture in the fog is coming back as we go into the third week of the foggy stuff. This is uh, associated with this huge front that came all the way in. It's connected to the big stormy weather out east. Now there's Arctic air right here and there's a Pacific storm right here. The two are going to combine a little bit giving a lot of western states some much needed snow, but it's going to be our next front. It's just going to take a little bit of its sweet time before it organizes and pushes south. So here, we're, this is what we've got for today. Chilly, obviously. It's going to stay chilly all day, but that area of low pressure, what we call a coastal trough, is going to develop off the coast by tomorrow. That's Tuesday, so the fog and the drizzle and all that stuff comes back as soon as tomorrow. Today is sort of a partly cloudy, cold day. But by tomorrow, we'll get up into the 60s. And then by Wednesday, that pulls away. So that is actually going to give us a little bit of a mild trend for just a couple of days before the frontal system gets organized in the Rockies. This is the one that's probably not going to get here till about probably Thursday night, Friday. It's a little bit iffy right now, but for sure it'll be arriving here by the time we get to the weekend. So we start off with a little break in the cloud cover, 50s today, then 60s tomorrow with the, with the cloudy and damp weather. We'll get up to 70s on Wednesday, and then, yeah, look, 70s with a little clearing Thursday and Friday. Friday afternoon, the north wind comes in, and we're back into the cloudy and soupy cool weather. So it does look like we'll have a little bit of a break later this week, but for today, only 52 is a high temperature.